الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد اللهم إني أسألك العلم النافع رزق طيب وعمل متقبلا أحبت في الله I just wanted to mention one hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regarding to encourage us at least in Ramadan but even the benefit is so great if we can encourage one another to do this in our households and that is if we are able to to devote some time to Qiyam al-Layl on a regular basis <coughs> getting up for the to Hajid and doing so with your spouse and having a blessed household. In a hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala he said an wa an Abi Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhuma qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha aqada rajulu ahlahu min al-layl fasalliya أو صلى ركعتين جميعا كتب في في الذاكرين والذاكرات رواه أبو داود بإسناد صحيح. In this hadith, this is a hadith of uh, Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه. Uh, he <coughs> and Abi Sa'id Perhaps Abu, uh, Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu uh, ta'ala both said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that if one of you, if a man gets up and wakes up his family, meaning he wakes up his, his wife and his children or what have you, during the evening, you know, during the layl, during the night. And then they pray together. So this is this ahl is referring chiefly to the spouse. However, of course, all of the family you will receive the person will receive reward for doing so, or praise. Two prayer units, just rakatain, together, jamian. Then they will be written amongst the vakirin, wavakirat, those people who are rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have a special place in Jannah and that they are mentioned as the Dhaqirin wa Dhaqirat the male believers that remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often that's why they're Dhaqirin Dhikr, the word Dhikr comes from Dhikr wa Adhkar to remember so the Dhaqirin meaning those who remember those who remember who? They remember Allah and they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Adhaqirin wa adhaqirat. And the female, females who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. So these people will be mentioned and written or, or mentioned as the adhaqirin wa adhaqirat. What we learn from this hadith is this hadith, <coughs> it shows us, this hadith and, and others shows us that the mercy, that mercy descends upon the spouses that come together and come together in the worship and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you want to increase mercy in your marriage, it comes, one of the ways in which it comes is through worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. Making it a family. Pray your sunnins together at the house. But especially if you can pray that night prayer. That's going to make a stronger bond with you and your spouse. So if one of you gets up for this blessed time, this blessed time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who wakes up from their, their sleep, which is difficulty. There's mushakka. <coughs> and the, the sleep is mahboob to the nafus, as it says, is beloved to 
to our 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 our, our desires or our beloved to our souls or our desires that we have a love for sleep who doesn't who wants to wake up in the middle or be interrupted from their sleep but doing so for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray just rakatain to get up make wudu and pray rakatain is rewarded immensely by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's an encouragement to get up for qiyam al layl and get up for qiyam al layl with your spouse if you have a spouse also from this hadith and the other hadith that we did not mention is it shows us that it's mishroor, that it is legislated to encourage uh, one another to make qiyam al layl make the night prayer. Uh, and especially and because it it awakens the heart, it awakens the soul to what? To ibadah, to worship and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more you're doing these acts of obedience, this is what increases your iman and decreases your disobedience. As the ulama say that iman yuzid wa yunqus. Yuzid bi ta'a wa yunqus bi ma'asiya. Or bi ma'asi. Bi ma, uh, bi ma'asi. So iman, it increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is how you increase your man, of course, by doing more obedience. And you decrease your man, Iman, by uh, doing uh, disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by getting up, the more you do that, you feel good. By making da'wah, the person who, who has knowledge or strives to have knowledge or what have you, they feel good. This is the implementation of their ilm by sharing it and by practicing it. You feel better. You feel the iman. It becomes more alive and more energetic for you. Likewise, the more you do obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you become energetic in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your iman increases. So this is very important to strive your best to do those things. Also, what we learn from this hadith is that the houses which are alive and covered with obedience to Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, that these are blessed households and happy households. If you're getting up with your spouse to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's hard to imagine a household that would not be happy because they receive, they're, they're too blessed. Because that is so rare. It's, it's Most of us can't do that and most of us don't do that. They don't get up. As a couple, get up, make wudu, and just pray rakatain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together, encouraging one in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a blessed household, especially if they have rugba. Not one is pulling the other one out of the bed and then they grumble and they don't really, aren't focused. But the ones who do it together, they have a, they begin to build a whole nother bond beyond the physical, beyond uh, just basic heart matters and stuff like this and a basic love. But they build a stronger love and perhaps from this Allah will give them an increased love in every respect. Because no doubt they will have blessings and they will have mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to have mercy in our households, bless us to have love in our households, bless us to be good with one another, and bless us to be of the vaqirin wa vaqirat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.